technically speaking, we all know about each other. It's just how much do you want it to be? So whenever I get those comments like, he's playing you, I'm like, like you said. Nick able to prepare you given the fact that he had obviously grown up around this and then two had other partners who had gone through this? Yeah, no. Wearing a truth that is not in line with a truth that would be palatable to us. Why I, I want to be able to have an open relationship and be happy the way that I am now with my next partner, but I can't, we're going on several, several kids now. I, I want to be able to have a conjoined family with somebody else who has kids or another person who really will understand my type of lifestyle because it's not easy coming into this, but after years of being the joke of the internet, Nick Cannon's baby mamas are finally speaking out. And what they're saying isn't great. Abby De La Rosa, the mother of one of Nick Cannon's set of twins, is finally speaking about what it's really like to be one of Nick Cannon's baby mamas. And even though Nick has claimed that he's having babies with all these women because he can take care of them, he's even said that he wants to provide for the women in his life. It seems like Abby has let it slip that that's far from the truth just listen to what she had to say about it. It's hard to keep track of all of Nick's baby mama drama. He expects to father three more children within a year. Nick had his first kids with the famous singer Mariah Carey back in 2011. The couple separated in 2014 and remained on good co-parenting terms. After his split from Mariah, Nick moved on with the stunning model Brittany Bell. The couple welcomed a son named Golden in 2017. And just three years later, Nick and Brittany celebrated the birth of their daughter Powerful. But something really shocking happened around Powerful's birth. While Britney announced her pregnancy, Nick was already in another relationship with yet another model, Jessica White. And this was when people started noticing a pattern with Nick. Fast forwarding to June of 2021, he has welcomed another set of twins, Zion and Zillion, with DJ Abby De La Rosa. And just one week later, Nick had a son with model Alyssa Scott. And the list goes on. Nick confirmed in January 2022 that he was expecting a son with Brie Tessie. And just months later, Nick shocked everyone with the birth of his daughter with Lanisha Cole. And then Nick announced that he was having a third child with Brittany Bell. And while at this point, Nick is pretty much known for having a lot of baby mamas over the years, many people were shocked to discover the drama going on behind closed doors. Before Nick began having children with multiple women, he was open about wanting to take care of all the women in his life. However, things changed after Nick started having babies with all these women. Lately, Nick's been saying that he only looked for women that could take care of themselves so that he didn't have to support them financially, which is just super weird. He's the kid's father. He should be supporting them financially. And this isn't even the whole story. Recently, things haven't been going so well for Nick. Many of the women in his life have been making some shocking claims about him, with one claiming she was struggling with money and couldn't afford to support her newborn. Even worse, Nick is allegedly not contributing as much as he should, according to one of his baby mamas. Abby De La Rosa came forward to expose Nick's irresponsible behavior toward her and his children. Abby went on a podcast with host Shan Boudram to voice her frustrations to the world. She tried to talk about things in a positive light, but ended up exposing the negative aspects of the situation. It seems like she didn't know what she was getting herself into with Nick. Abby got super candid about her polyamorous relationship with the superstar, saying it has impacted her motherhood. Abby started dating Nick when she was 30 years old. She had never been in a polyamorous relationship before, and she claimed that Nick brought a freeing vibe to her life. However, things took a turn when Abby talked about the downsides to her relationship with Nick. On the podcast, she said although she was familiar with the type of lifestyle Nick was living, she wasn't aware of how big it really was. Abby referred to Nick as her primary partner, saying she's been monogamous by choice throughout her pregnancy. Abby then voiced her unhappiness with the outside judgments of her relationship with Nick. She said that people would often tell her she was being played by Nick, but she apparently chooses to trust the connection she shares with Nick. Abby went as far as to say that Nick's track record with relationships was why she had been facing major backlash from the public. During the podcast, Abby opened up about the criticism she's received during her pregnancy. She claimed that thousands of people were expressing their hate for her online, to which she said that everyone was too invested in her life. The podcast honestly shed a lot of light on Nick's situation with his baby mamas. It also kind of opened the door for even more serious drama to unfold. One of Nick's baby mamas had something to say about a recent gift that he bought for Abby and their kids. Shockingly, Nick bought Abby a house, saying, 
saying it was the least he could do for her. Abby said she was super grateful for the extravagant gift from Nick. She even posted a video of their sons walking around the house. While everything seemed to be perfect, there was someone who wasn't too happy about the news. The entire ordeal angered another one of his baby mamas in the process. Model Brie Tessie threw shade Nick's way after the news broke. She openly spoke about her financial struggles and Nick's lack of care in the matter. People were furious about this. Everyone started saying that Nick should help her with her finances. And I honestly agreed. She's the mother of one of his kids. This whole thing started when Brie posted a video to her social media on September 19th saying that she hadn't slept in three days because her son had been screaming his little head off. Someone decided to respond to her message suggesting that Brie hire a night nurse to help with her newborn son. What Brie said next will shock you. She asked the person if they wanted to pay for the night nurse. They told her to tell Nick about the problem. And here's where things got really heated person for their response and she couldn't hold back her anger. She told them she didn't need their unsolicited advice and criticized them for speaking about her situation with Nick, but she didn't end things there. She posted a message directed at everyone who had advice for her regarding her family. She wrote in all caps that we should all keep her parenting and her baby daddy's name out of our mouths. She went on to say that Nick was not her sugar daddy and then she told everyone to watch their mouths when they spoke on her name. Since the online drama, Brie has quieted down on social media. But many still wanted to know why Nick wasn't helping her with her son. And according to her Instagram post, Nick is actually nowhere to be found. In response to the ongoing criticism, Bree shared a message with the internet. She claimed that she had every right to speak her mind that day, adding that she was super stressed after a lack of sleep from her baby teething early. She continued by saying that she was sharing a hard mom moment with the world and it had nothing to do with Nick. Bree blamed a commenter for bringing him up and went on to express her frustration with all the negative comments. But I just think it's interesting that Nick can purchase a house for one of his baby mamas but can't afford a night nurse for Brie. After this whole thing went down, people went on Twitter to talk about Nick. One person said that Nick probably wasn't around because he was out making new babies. Another wrote that there was no way that Nick could give proper care and attention to nine different children. And honestly, I completely agree with that. There's been a lot of drama with Nick and all his baby mamas and it doesn't look like things are going to stay calm for long. Nick is expected to have three more kids this coming year. He said in an interview with Complex that it was safe to bet on three more in 2022, which is just completely crazy to me. But what do you think? What are your thoughts on all of Nick's baby mama drama? Do you think he's doing enough to support all his children? Let me know in the comments down below.